A family along with 19 other tenants are now suing the San Antonio Housing Authority after an apartment it owned caught fire. A civil lawsuit notice claims the lack of care from burning tree apartments owned by Saha ultimately caused the fire. Camelia Juarez has been following the story since the fire happened nearly a month ago and now she brings us the latest. 17 year old Jayla Campion didn't know it would be her last time coming home. And I saw a big orange flash across the window, like on the balcony, like it looked like the sky was orange. Campion's three story apartment building at the burning tree complex was burnt beyond repair, according to the fire department. The fire left Campion's family homeless and killed both her dogs. We were not able to keep nothing. Nothing was able to be saved. We are lucky that we're alive. A report from the San Antonio Fire Department lists the cause of fire as undetermined, but the civil lawsuit notice given to Saha and the apartment complex claims appliances were installed incorrectly, leading to an electrical fire. Campion says their negligence has taken a mental toll on her and her family. I'll see restaurants that have smoke coming out and I immediately get like feared or like worried. And the same thing with the fire alarms, because the fire alarms didn't go off when they were supposed to. Through the lawsuit, they hope to be compensated for personal property they lost, smoke inhalation injuries, and items needed to restore their living situation. I want to see them take responsibility for what they have done, all the wrong that they have caused us. It's not just us who lost, it's everybody in those apartments who lost. Lawyers representing the tenants have given an official notice to Burning Tree as well as Saha. And within 60 days, an official lawsuit will be filed. So far, Burning Tree has not answered any of our calls and the San Antonio Housing Authority has not made anyone available to speak about the lawsuit, but they did say that housing should be available to the tenants. Camelia Juarez, Kisa 12 News.